Hey folks, Grandpa Doss Farms, how are you? Yesterday we had a major emergency with Batman. I knew something was wrong early in the morning, but he was moving around, so I kind of gave him a little bit of time. I thought maybe uh, he was, the dogs were bothering him. I wasn't sure what was going on, but we ended up taking him to the vet, and I'm gonna have Grandma roll that footage right now so you can see that. Well, we had to bring Batman to the vet. We don't know exactly what's wrong, but he's here and uh, we're gonna take care of him. Uh, I'm not gonna make any predictions just yet, so. She's grabbing the ultrasound machine right now, right? Yeah, she's getting the ultrasound machine. This young lady, you might be on YouTube. No, that's Does it fine. You? What's your no, name? Juliana. What's, Juliana. She's the one that came down and with Dr. Dr. Diggs. Dr. Diggs and uh, treated all of them for, well, gave them shots, mm -hmm. trimmed their nails, mm -hmm. and uh, we surely appreciate that, Juliana. And well, Batman acts really good for her when she's got a hold of him. What's your problem? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, the man behind the camera, Kyle, uh, we, he grabbed the trailer and we brought him down here. So. I was just here yesterday with Harry. That's right. Yeah, you were just here yesterday. So yeah. anyway, go see what's wrong with my best buddy here. I, I thought I was your best buddy. We're going to see what's wrong with <laughs> your best animal buddy oh, here. Oh, man. <laughs> I gotta work for that spot again. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording so they can stop do what they can do. I didn't see it there, but it's not. It's not too big. Checking his bladder to see the size. Okay. Mm -hmm. As with male castrated goats, we want to make sure that they're not blocked because that can be very common okay. for them to get urinary stones and get blocked. So. Now, is rupture a common problem for the bladder? It, it can be if, you know, it's left too long that gotcha. it's blocked. But his looks a normal size, you know. I mean, you can tell he hasn't peed in a little while, but okay. I don't think that it's to the point that he's straining or anything like okay. that. Okay. So. You're not pregnant, are you, buddy? Huh? I know I'm making a joke. I shouldn't be laughing. That's a nervous joke. <laughs> nervous laughter. So ultrasound showed bladder's intact. He mm -hmm. he hasn't peed in a while. Would love to see him pee. Mm -hmm. And now they're going to try to shove a tube down his so, throat to kind of force feed a bit. It, does it have to go into his rumen, the, the stomach? The, 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 so it just way. goes down here. It doesn't go all the way. It doesn't down go all the way. And what's she going to give him? Electrolytes. Electrolytes, mm -hmm. which will that's kind of a liquid a booster. Uh, what, what uh, yeah. So just like us, like if we drink pee light or anything, okay. kind of just. Like boost this up and stuff. Okay. Why? You boost Batman. Hmm. Doing the spot. Why would he? Doing great, be... buddy. In pain, like like making noise, like like he just feels like he's in pain. We don't know yet. Maybe. Well, he did just go about seventy-five miles an hour down the highway in the I cold know. rain. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. I gotta get a I gotta get a livestock trailer, a real one. Yeah. I know. I got. I, I do too, son. If only we knew a guy. We sure appreciate that. Hey, bub. I'm probably not going to film this. No, that's fine. You probably won't love this part. Yeah, I'm probably not going to film this part unless you just want record of it, Dad, but I don't think Mom's going to edit it in the video. Okay, I'm going to stop. He's just leaning on you. Yeah, 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 he took a step with his back right leg. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna kind of try to like push on his side. This right. So, mineral oil, electrolytes. Now they're gonna give him some antibiotics. Sometimes, uh, uh, are they N pneumonia. pneumonia. Yep. There's a possibility, right? So she's going to get some antibiotics, and uh, I'll probably send us home. The mineral oil should break up the whatever's in his rumen. Is that correct? I think so. And, and then she may, got some gas out got through some, the process she did get some too, gas right? Out in the process. So he wasn't he wasn't as bad as I thought he was, but Which he is sounded good. awful at home. So uh, you know, I just needed this definitely thing. made the right decision. I don't know if he'd have gotten better on his own or not, but you can see right now. 
he's pretty docile, but he's, he got grandpa right here. He knows, he feels pretty good. Uncle Kyle, <laughs> brother Kyle, Uncle Kyle. <laughs> I'm gonna anyway, stick with uncle. <laughs> I think he's gonna be, I think we'll be all right, you know, and uh, yeah. I'm still here, buddy. Yeah, okay, buddy. he was kind of leaning he's on me. Okay, I know, Bubba. He's okay, buddy. I know, baby. He's okay. Well, and we learned, you know, like yesterday with Harry, you know, you got to act quick. And so this yeah. just came about this morning. It and fortunately, morning. we were able to get down here within a couple he hours. Ate, he ate his carrots last night. He ate hay. He was running around. We were playing and everything was fine. And, and you know, he doesn't get any dog food anymore. He hadn't had dog food in a week. Not a piece. Not a, not nothing. Hmm. And we, like I said, we cut the grain back, but I, 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 I made a decision on the grain. I believe we're either going to go <laughs> right now. <laughs> you might not, uh, might not solidify that decision just yet. Let's, <laughs> we got more talking to do, don't All we? Right. Yeah, we, we will. It's hard. We're it's tough. Talk to the vet. You know, talk how, to well the I, vet. You know how well I listened to the vet last time, but remember, Lola Stills lost over thirty pounds, and each go, each other piggy are still fifteen. So <laughs> we're okay. And this, by the way, she's the one that said no grain. And I'm going to admit to her what I did and tell her the results. But you're down to, right? or do your viewers know how much you're actually feeding them now? The grain, the the pigs, hat, no, the no, all these guys. Right. Him? Yeah. yeah, they get about half a cup to three quarters, maybe half a cup one time a day, maybe a little more, and and that, but that's it. That's it, and everything else is hay and leave. Look at him push. That's what he does. That's my boy. I love you, Batman. Make me feel comfortable, Grandpa. Look, Batman, I tell you what, I I thought. Oh, I know. I rode down here I with you. I, I thought. I thought. I. I didn't want to think about I know, buddy. I know, Bubba. All you can do is the best you can do, and say your prayers, and take care of the guy, and he may be just fine, you know. It's okay, buddy. All right, so let's. Uh, so we're gonna do the antibodies, antibodies that, and then there was something else in it. I something forget what else, she said, but. Yeah. You know, and it may not be necessary, but it doesn't hurt him to go no, ahead and administer that all. stuff. So, all right, we'll uh, pick this up when we get back home. Sounds and, good. All right. Later. <laughs> Made it back home. Got the puppies in here, but more importantly, we got Batman back. He's dried off. Now we just uh, need a little bit of heel time. You know, I don't know what to expect. She said maybe he'll have a little bit of runny stool mixed with that mineral oil. At least he's not laying down and hollering out in, in, in the pain that he was before. That was that was that was awful. So much better now, huh, buddy? Yeah. Can I have these towels? ma'am sir ma'am you two and these two are soaking wet and they don't care yep they don't care batman buddy i'm going to leave you alone here a little bit your buddies are up in the other shelter you're welcome to go up there you just hang with the doggies okay and we are certainly glad you feel better buddy yep love you batman hopefully this will take care of everything he'll be back to normal shortly 
quite the scare. Mm. Thank you, Kyle Doss, for coming down and helping out, buddy. Appreciate it so much. Couldn't have done it without you. Doing? So this is the next day. Let's go check on Batman, see how he is. Oh yeah, and we have two very muddy puppies. You will not even recognize these two. Oh my word. Look at you, Rev, Riley. It's been raining. They've been in the mud. They don't care. It doesn't bother them, but oh my lands. He's been really good through the, through the night. He did fine. Uh, I'm not sure he trusts me right now 100%. And after what I did yesterday, having to pull him around and get him on a trailer and so forth, but we're warming up. We're working on it, but he has been eating some. All right, hey, buddy. Say hi, everybody. Hi, kiddo. He's been actually been getting here a lot. You all right, buddy? Mm -hmm. You okay? I know. It's I know. You don't trust me. You all right, buddy? He's not shaking or anything. He appears to be okay. Yeah. That a boy. It's a boy. But you can see how he gets back in here. He don't get up on top at all. Yeah, we're kind of having to build trust again just a little bit, to be honest with you. He's a little spooked. But I think he's going to be okay. Yesterday, we could not show what he was truly like before we took him down there. It just was not, not good for video, for sure. So, Welcome to uh, Rock and Talk. <laughs> <laughs> Mom said, well, we can, we can get half of it right. We can rock. It just won't be on the porch. Yeah. And we're definitely going to talk. So I guess we do cover it, rock and talk. We've got to cover. You know, because look, I'm automatically... You know, rocking. And when I sit in this chair at night, folks, just so you know, I'm going down this road, by the way. I rock. That's what I do. You don't sit in that chair. You sit on the uh, It depends. The now, love seat. We're going to have fires, you know. Yeah. Well, she sits over there because we've had two fires in a row. Yeah. And with all that wood from Kyle and Shannon, I told Kyle and I told you we could have a fire every night from now till the end of next March, 1st of April and not run out of wood so it's pretty cool that was very cool yeah and you know we're only we start a fire at five o'clock in the evening it's we only have to keep it burning for three hours we're in bed eight eight thirty and no no you usually huh? start one so that when i come home i already have a fire could be four thirty four o'clock if we go out yeah. and eat yeah. this is that this is the next day after we took batman to the vet and as you can see he's he's doing fine and that's why we didn't i didn't do a whole lot of feeding today i didn't this is not a feeding video um because it, part of it is when I went out there this morning, pouring down rain. Yeah. And it's it has it started raining about 2:30, 2 o'clock a.m. And it's now, I don't know, I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? 10:20. 10:20. It has not stopped raining, and it's 38, 39 degrees. So we've got some below tonight. It's going to get down below freezing, and tomorrow night. Not until Wednesday is it going to be above 30 degrees at night. So it's going to be cold. And, and I know a lot of you have... Are, yeah, that, there's a chance of that four-letter word. S-N-O. Yeah, I got it. Anyhow, back to Batman. I, you know, in Kyle and Shannon's video, they showed a little bit what led up to Harry's going to the vet. And Batman started out similarly, similarly just like Harry. And the first thing they get is lethargic and they separate themselves from everybody else. And that's what he was doing. I noticed that yesterday morning, the night before he was doing great. Went down there, he ended up in the, uh, going into the, uh, uh, he didn't eat, he wouldn't eat. He followed us down, but he didn't eat anything. Then he came back down and got in the porta hut and that began his uh, going downhill. He laid down, I went in there with him by the way, a big thanks to Leanne for entertaining the dog. She actually kept them in their pen because they kept wanting to come in while I was in there with him. Well, P-Dub was in there with him, too. P-Dub was P -Dub in P-Dub there. was very aware something was wrong. True, true. So I went in there. Mom entertained, kept the dogs at bay. I had called Kyle, and he was trying to get things together, rolling, get there. So we had probably about 45 minutes or so. Yeah. And up to that point, Batman hadn't exhibited any pain, any pain reactions, any, nothing like that. But he started laying down, bloat, you know, was a big thing. Uh, 
I had not noticed any diarrhea or anything like that for like a heavy infestation of worms or anything like that. So I worried about bloat and a urinary infection. Somehow he was blocked up. Well, he began to bleat, I guess, that's what you call it, and, and, and express pain verbally. He went from standing up quite a bit with, with P-Dub in there, and then P-Dub kind of came out and didn't go back in. I think P-Dub realized. And he went from standing up to not standing up. I mean, he started laying down. Laying down. And I began, because I'd read, you know, I, was, I, I thought, okay, if it's bloat, which bloat can usually take a goat in 18 hours or less, they, they're gone, they're, they're, they, they die, period. So uh, you're, you can give them mineral oil, uh, but mineral oil, <laughs> you have to put, a, as you all saw, what had to be done, a tube down. The, I don't, I can't, not that I couldn't do it, but I don't have, I, don't, I couldn't do it here. So he had to go to the vet, period. So that's where Kyle came in. Prior to that, I was pushing on his ruminant side, on his left side. He did not look swollen. It was not hard, but he would get, he would belch. Uh, he did pass gas out the other end once or twice, so I knew that he wasn't 100% blocked up. But anyway, in my mind, and Mom will tell you, I was, I was scared. I well, was he was making, scared. Uh, he was, it was obvious with the noise he was making, he was in pain. He was in pain. He kept standing up after I'd pushed on him like he wanted me to stop, but I kind of, I, I kept, I kept after it. And so, yeah, it was very, very uncomfortable. It was, I was, I was losing it. I mean, I, I mean, I was, I was really scared that we were going to lose Batman. I, I really was. I was, and I was going to blame myself because I thought it was bloat and bloat comes from one overeating. The biggest reason, overeating would be second, the biggest reason would be eating things that they don't, like a big change in diet, things they don't normally eat would cause that. Well, I knew that wasn't happening. And overeating, Batman can overeat hay. He hadn't had any dog food in a while. So I'm thinking, what in the world did he eat? And I had not been given as much grain, so I don't know if, I don't know. We give him the carrots at night. I give him a couple of uh, animal crackers. All, th all kinds of things were running through my mind. And I was really, really upset, really upset, uh, because I told mom if he had died, I w I'd have blamed myself the rest of my life. I'd have never gotten over that, you know. Uh, even though everybody goes, hey, I know it's part of it or whatever. I, I get that. But, you know, I was kind of like, I listened to Kyle, watch Kyle's video, and our, our animals are more than, <laughs> that's what we do. I, I have no, you know, I'm not going to change. I don't, I don't have, that's how it is. You know, mom's the same way. So we, we just love him dearly. And, and Batman was definitely, he was definitely in trouble. I have to tell a funny on you though. And it wasn't funny at the time, but we were trying to figure out how we were going to get him from the Porta Hut into Kyle's, what does he call it? Critter getter. Critter getter. And, you know, every suggestion I made wasn't a good idea. So I, you know, I was, and he says, I'm going to go back and get the gorilla cart. So he's running back to get the gorilla cart. And I'm thinking, I don't remember that gorilla cart being big enough for Batman to go in it. So he comes running down the hill with a gorilla cart. And I'm looking at it thinking, there ain't no way we're going to get Batman in that gorilla cart. <laughs> so he comes down the hill and he brings it through. And of course, all the other animals are looking at it like, you know, what's the gorilla cart for? And he pulls it up there. And I said, honey, there's no way Batman's going to fit in that gorilla cart. Yeah, yeah, we can tip it. We can get him in there, you know, and I'm thinking, oh my word, what, you know, what do I do? And so about that time, Kyle pulls up and he, you know, backs the truck up with the critter getter on it and Kyle gets out and he comes in and Ralph goes, can we just lift this gorilla cart, you know, and we can just put Batman in it. And Kyle looks at him and he goes, no, dad. And he goes, we're just, <laughs> we're just going to get him out of here and he's going to walk out, you know, and Ralph goes, okay, okay. You know, they kind of get him up on his legs and we didn't get that on film either did we, we didn't no we, no we didn't film that there was a lot of things that i didn't film i just i didn't well, want to honestly it's a good thing we didn't but he did he got up and kind of basically just walked out on his own with ralph holding his horns and you kyle know, was kind of pushing he, him yeah he did it he did a yeah. pretty good job yeah. because he hadn't been on his feet but it, yeah. it uh he yeah. did pretty good but i, I get up. was very thankful that you know we didn't try to pick him up and put him in that gorilla cart there's just yeah. no way he would have fit yeah. but you know, you were trying everything. You were just, I was, you know, desperate. I was, I won't say, I wasn't in panic mode. Yeah, you were in panic mode. Okay, I was in, were in panic, panic mode. mode, but, you know, I, I just know that things that I've studied, bloat takes them fast. Yeah. And I, I, again, I could not have lived with myself. 
would have bothered me the rest of my life if, if the bloating had been the issue. Well, but, I was feeling guilty too. You went to get the gorilla cart and I was apologizing all over the place. I said, Batman, don't you die on me. I will from now on let you hug me. I, you can get in my oh, face. Yeah. Don't you die on yeah, me. Yeah, you told you know, me that. Just, I felt yeah. terrible. So from now on, he's going to get a lot of attention. <laughs> and I do think today, though, when I went out there this morning and even last night, you know, they have pretty good memories. And he was a little standoffish with me. Now, I hugged, really? on, him. I hugged on him this morning uh, when I fed him and he was okay. But... Uh, what I started doing even last night, you know, I'm, I, I made a kind of a kind of a non-commitment commitment, commitment uh, with how much grain and all I do, I scoop it with my hand and I'm feeding them by hand just a little bit. And I'm going like one, two, one, two, one, two. And then I go, guys, stop. And it was funny this morning. I did that to, to uh, P-Dub and Fox. That was last night. Last night. I'm sorry. And they're standing by their little feeders, right? So I give them like that, and I, at the same time, I should have had it on film, but I wouldn't, you know, they look at me, and they look at their feeders, and they look at me, and they look at their feet, and they, they're going, hey, what, I mean, it was like, hey, what, what's the deal? And I said, guys, I'm sorry, I, I can't do it. So we're good with Batman, right? There's a story. He's, he's, he's okay, you all saw that. Her about, I, I asked her about the green with the goats and the alfalfa, and she said, I would not give the goats alfalfa hay. It's too rich in calcium because for goats, the weathered goats, the urinary tract infection is a big deal. So that is true. You, can, you don't want to give them too much grain. The grain I'm giving them is that pellet. It's not grain, it's pellet. The grain was the medicated textured stuff I was giving them with the sweetness and all that. That's a no-no for a weathered goat. But I have seen many videos of some people that you all watch, people who've been doing this a long time, and they take grain, and they'll pour it in a big trough, and all their goats just eat it like crazy. Some may get more than others. Then you, learn, then you read, don't give them any grain. They don't need grain. They only need hay. So Kyle and I were talking. It's very difficult then to know the exact right thing to do. What do you do? One article says this. Ten says that. Well, you, you were going to switch them to alfalfa because that's oh, what I was somebody put, said. Yeah, right. I was going to put them. And yeah. she said, "Don't give weathered goats alfalfa, alfalfa because hay. it's too that's high correct. in calcium." Yeah. Right, because I was going to supplement with a few pellets, uh, alfalfa pellets. She said, "Don't do it." So I'm not. I did give them some alfalfa hay though, because I had that bale, and they loved it. Because I read an article, one guy said all he feeds his is alfalfa hay. So what are we feeding them now? Just, Just Bermuda hay. hay. Bermuda hay. I'm going to, you know, we give them two carrots a night. Should I stop the carrots? I mean, I, I don't know. And she couldn't tell me definitively. She did not say he has bloat. His bladder looked good. You know, he needed to pee. I, I'm hoping by now he has peed. I don't know. I, it's, it's been raining. Well, They're not moving much. he did much. something or he wouldn't be up yeah, walking that's around. Yeah, that's because true. Because you went down and checked on him several times. I and did. He was up eating hay. Right, He true. was up walking true. around on his true. own. So, oh, he's not like he was yesterday oh, at all. No, yeah, no. He, I'm hoping with the antibiotic and everything, he's, yeah. he's good to go now. He but got an antibiotic and he also got something else. What was the other thing? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. It's on the paper. I know. Two shots. And I, you know, phew, Yeah. I was just... Well, whatever they gave him worked. Barely making it. Yeah, so weird. far, so, so good. And again, his bladder, he, it had, he had urine in his bladder, I think is what she said. But it's nothing, you know, he did get some gas off for her at, with, and all that. So... Uh, the mineral oil uh, helps get gas off. So when he was in pain like he was down there, you know, it didn't, maybe it, it wasn't, I, I'm not saying it wasn't severe, but it could have been a lot worse. We need to give a big shout out to them too. Oh, because they are amazing Dr. With these Diggs farm animals. and uh, Juliana. Yeah. Yes, they were awesome. She stayed even after hours because she mm -hmm. normally what closes at noon. At noon, and they said, "Hey, are you coming?" I said, "I'm on my way." And they said, "Great, we'll be here." And they just they they they're, they were awesome. Yeah. Same folks that took care of us up here that they, they took came care and did, of which I mentioned that I said do the I said trim their nails, nails but they trim yeah. their hooves. hooves. So another thing too, and I know this is going on a little bit, but this is this is interesting. Yeah. Some of you, more than one person, has talked about the pig's tails okay i asked her about the pigtails i said hey if my pig's tails don't curl are they sick she looked at me she says 
We're, what? And I said, yeah. I said, I've had several folks say, you know, they're sick if their tails are, are straight. And I said, I've watched some videos and they kind of concur. And she said, well, uh, how long have your pig's tails been straight? I said, well, I, I have no idea. She, and she knew she knows we're in YouTube. She knows we do YouTube videos. She said, well, have they always been straight or have they always been curly and now they're straight? And I'm thinking, I don't know. She said, well, why don't you go back and watch some videos? See if they were straight or curly back when. I went back seven months. Lola's tail has never curled. It's just straight as a string. That's seven months ago. I'm not going to go back two years ago to, to see Lola's tail. The pigs, the, the cooney coonies, the same way. They come out, they make one little loop, and then they come straight down. That's not the real tight curl because, again, they've got hair after their tail part is that long. So that's not going to curl around. So I'm just saying, anybody that says that, you cannot always say that if a pig's tail is not curly, they're sick. Did I say that right? I think so. Yeah. Uh, always would mean 100% of the time. So I don't see that our pigs are unhealthy at this point because their tails are straight. So I'll keep my eye on them. I ask her, I said, hey, can I bring a sample of manure down, which they've already offered? She said, sure, bring it down. Now, I've already dug through manure, and I don't see any worms or anything like that. It looks healthy. It's not diarrhea. Now, will I be able to get a sample of each, each one? I don't know. I'll probably just pick up random samples throughout. And if she says one has worms or one has this, I'll have to treat them all for the same thing, mm -hmm. I would think. I'll try the other way. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get samples. And, and you know, uh, this has been a big eye-opener. I think Kyle and I both, and Shannon and Mom, have learned uh, through this bad experience on the goats part that, you know, a little more educated on how goats do. You know, they are prey. They're going to not act sick until they're really, really sick. But when you notice one's being lethargic, first thing or standoffish, something is wrong immediately. And there's not a whole lot, unless you're some a vet or you've got something that you know you can treat them with, you got to get them to a vet. I know this is kind of a long, long ending here, but it's very important, I think. This, we, I learned a lot. I tell you what, yesterday when he got sick like that, and we went through it with Smokey too, but it was, it was a little different uh, with a dog, because I've experienced it before with, with dogs. And it was bad. But, it was when, so bad. but when Batman got like this, I found myself thinking, why are you doing this? This is so hard emotionally so difficult and it may not be the last time but i thought this first of all they're getting great lives and second of all each time you go through something like this you can identify a symptom a little earlier you know and you can recognize and you can also change what you do and a lot of it has to do with their eating habits you know uh, kind of a taking you know do, doing things a little differently so i, I we, we learned through this but uh, anyhow there, that's, where, that's where we're at. Thank you all for hanging in there if you have so far. Tough mm -hmm. day. Tough day. Tough day for Batman. Poor, poor, pitiful me. Not me. Tough day for Batman. But he's, he's better. But yeah, all the, all the dogs were kind of rallying, him around, you know, rallying around him and coming around and coming up to him and shaking her, wagging her tails. The dogs were, and the, like you said, the goats were going up and um, yeah, P. Dove was hanging in there with him, man. He was trying oh, to lay in there beside him. and You know, when I brought him back, remember? Yeah. It was raining, and the two goats were down there, and they come all the way down and got into the porta hut with him. Yeah, and all of them were in the porta hut for a while. All five of them were in there. And, you yeah, know, the dog, yeah, they, yeah all night long. was barely fitting in there, and he was laying there soaking wet, but he, they were all in there with him. Yeah, so. Well, all right. Um, Pray for those who've sent prayer requests. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who we've missed, but I know others will find, you know, read them if we can't. Uh, prayers for Briar, our, bless her heart, she's, she's, she's tough. She's, she's doing she's better. Doing great. If you've seen some of the pictures, she's smiling, you know, and so, so uh, she's got a long to, way to go. I'm trying to do updates as, as much as I can, but if you all don't know it, uh, Lori, which is Briar's mom, is doing updates on their community page. And so if you're you know, waiting on me, you might check on their community page because she's doing a lot of uh, updates, putting pictures over there too. So 
Yeah, all um, creatures uh, farm all creatures and rescue. Farm and rescue. Yeah, yep. and you can check out there. They make two videos a week, two long videos a week, and she's doing the shorts. And I'm, I know there's updates on the shorts. Yep. Uh, for Briar, and they're just a wonderful family. If you're not subscribed to them, I don't like the word subscribe, but y'all know what I mean. Please go over there and and uh, subscribe to them. They're 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 doing great. Aaron, I think Lori has stayed with her pretty much every night. I think Aaron goes back and forth. They may be at the Ronald McDonald House. I don't. I don't know. know. We don't know. They're they, about. They talked about. They're only there. forty minutes probably away. They're they're on the, they're probably about forty minutes away from home. Maybe a little further, but they're pretty close. So great family. Yep. Uh, keep praying for them. And in case you don't know, that's where we got Revel and Riley from, right, from them. Right, right. Yep. Fern is mom. And, and Rigsby. Uh, Rigsby is, is dad. Mm -hmm. Right. So, all right, folks, listen. Thank you all for hanging in there and being patient with two people who sometimes, especially one who stumbles around and still learns. Uh, but we love our animals. And always going to try and do the best for them. Thank you all for some of the advice you give us. Thank you for all your comments. God bless you. We love you. Until next time. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye, guys. Girls.